All right. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Learn with Anirudh. Now, this one is going to be very special because we are going to be discussing the top 5 data structures that you guys should work on to clear all of your interviews. Now, you should already know that data structures are among the most important things to help you clear your interviews. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. All right so coming to number 5 ladies and gentlemen we have arrays and of course arrays are really important data structures they are data structures of fixed size and there are some things that you really need to work on here to understand that you can even go about creating an array of arrays as well the two dimensional array concept and of course since it allows for random access of elements is a very good chance the interviewer can ask you to pick up random elements from your array and eventually go about processing on that and work on that too So what should you know about an arrays first of all it's very basic that you have to understand how you can move about through the elements the list of elements in the particular array print whatever element is asked of you through the index of course and then how you can go about performing searching of the elements in the array be it linear search or binary search now if you do not know how to go about doing linear search and binary search i have an episode already up on that where we have covered it beautifully make sure you guys take a look at that and of course apart from this you'll have to also think about how you can update the existing values that are present in your array these are some really popular interview questions for arrays and about how you can clear your data structures interviews by showcasing your skills. skills in these as well and then coming to number 4 on number 4 we have stacks of course stacks have to be really important concept because this is a data structure that we use almost in our real life as well not just with the data we see online it follows this principle called as last in first out and a literal example that you can give for this is a stack of books the first book that you place is literally the last one you take away right and the last book you put is literally the first one that you take it out so there's a good way to remember stacks is a good way to work with this there are many uh you know real life functions of this and not just real life functions and uh, real life examples out there while working with the data itself you need to understand that you can go about removing and adding elements the operations that we call as push and pop you need to know how to go about doing that for stacks and there are many many functions as well there's an operation where you can peek into a stack uh, where you can look at an element without deleting it and eventually there are functions such as is empty or is full that you need to know how they work this is very important because these are really really being asked in the interviews these days and now after stack on number 3 we have queues yes queues have to be here if stacks are there and queues work in a very different way when you take a look at stacks and compare it to that because stacks worked on lefo last in first out queues work on fifo first in first out now there's a very good chance all of you all were waiting in a queue to get your covid-19 vaccination so that is an actual example of a queue so wherever you can think about a queue think about a Uh, a fuel station or whatever it is that's where you would have used uh, queues and of course this is another data structure we use a lot in real life but in the world of computing it is very critical that we have queues because that is how we go about working with a concept called as multi threading that eventually makes a lot of processing uh, faster and uh, another very important concept here it's called priority queues priority queues are super critical if you do not know what priority queues are don't worry we're going to make an episode on that but at this moment of time you need to understand and that it is a requirement and here are some of the important things that you should know about it the first most important thing is how you can go about inserting elements at the end of a queue and of course how you can go about removing uh, these particular elements right you cannot remove from the rear you can usually remove it from the front when it's done with its operation so eventually this is something you're going to have to remember as well now all of these seems really straightforward but the moment you go about sitting in an interview is when you can uh, have a good chance of messing up getting confused and all of that so make sure you're working on this because all the interviews in 2022 are going to come at you really quick lot of job trends and i bet you can clear all of that now coming to a very 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 important data structure which is linked list ladies and gentlemen linked lists are super important for all of you all to understand at this moment of time because you when you take a look at it If the interviewers know that this is one of the data structures that uh, that is really confusing for beginners so if you're a fresher who's working on getting a job this is something you really need to work on there are a lot of pointers as a head pointer tail pointer single ended linked list double ended linked list circular linked list so there are many types of linked list that you can work with you have to know at this moment that data can only be accessed sequentially instead of random access like how you can do in array you can go about moving in the linked list in both the direction from the forward direction and from the back 
backward direction as well. And what you will usually be asked in an interview is to how you can go about searching through the elements, how you can insert a particular element in a given position in the particular list. And there'll be multiple chances where they'll give you two different linked lists or three linked lists, ask, ask you to merge them at one particular point, ask you to write the logic for that or even showcase the working uh, based on how you would take index positions and how you would uh, place those elements there and what would happen to the rest of the linked list. So ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty confusing. I know that a lot of you all have told me this. It is very vital that you understand this and don't worry, we're going to be breaking up linked lists into most simple terms in future episodes of Learn with Anirudh. So if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, make sure you do because a lot of content is coming your way on that. Now, linked list done, coming to the top, the number one data structure for uh, 2022, it has to be trees. Ladies and gentlemen, tree data structures are really one of the most important hierarchical data structures that we have today. And if you're a person who's very much interested in the domain of machine learning, in the domain of data science, you have to understand that trees are a critical are a critical part of these domains. And since the world is moving towards, uh, you know, working with a lot of data all the time by all the companies, regardless of any domain, you have to understand that regardless of the career or the job role that you go for, if it's a technical interview, you can definitely expect questions on trees. Now there are various types of trees that you need to have some knowledge upon. You have something called BSTs, they're called binary search tree. You have red black trees, you have AVL trees. And I know these all look and probably feel super complex if you're a beginner, but we are going to simplify all of these if you guys stay tuned to the channel. And you have to understand where these trees are used. So usually when it comes to trees, the first question uh, the interviewer might ask you is not saying use these trees. The first question they'll ask you is where do you think these trees are used? Give me an example. Once you go about having a good example to explain that, that is when they're going to say, okay, so how does it work? Then comes the question where you have to explain it. So understand how you go about working with binary trees, binary search trees. And you know, again, we discussed priority queue just a moment back here. It is very important for you to understand you will actually be using BSTs, binary search trees to go about about creating double ended priority queues. So once you have uh, all of these basic concepts down, all the top five data structures we discuss, there are multiple ways in which these are interrelated to each other and that can lead to more questions as well. So if you are prepped up with this particular list and if you're good with all the data structures you've seen here, trust me, you're going to have a smooth sailing for all your technical interviews. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what did you think about this list? There are many, many, there is a vast list. There's a vast array of data structures that we have in today's world. So what did you think about this list? I want to know your opinion. So head to the comment section right now. And of course, let me know. I'm more than excited to hear from you guys. And of course, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more critical episodes such as this. There's a lot more coming your way. And I cannot wait to meet you guys on the next one.